It is full speed ahead in the 2024 race for the White House. The Iowa caucus is less than two weeks away. Former President Donald Trump continues facing legal challenges related to January 6th. NBC's Garrett Haig has more. With less than two weeks to go until the Iowa caucuses, former President Donald Trump and his legal troubles still dominating the political world. Thank you very much. The Trump campaign expected to file an appeal as early as this week to a decision by Maine's top election official that he is disqualified from the presidency under the 14th Amendment because of his role in the January 6th attack. That decision in Maine, similar to one earlier last month, barring Mr. Trump from the ballot in Colorado. Critics of the rulings have pounced, calling them partisan attacks on the former president. They're trying to take the election away from the voters. And while both rulings are unprecedented, former President Trump's name will remain on the ballot in both states while the appeals process plays out. It's one of the many legal challenges looming over the Trump campaign, with the potential for up to five Trump trials during the busy campaign year. These are Biden indictments against their this is just against a political opponent. Over the weekend, special counsel Jack Smith urging an appeals court to reject the former president's efforts to dismiss the federal election interference case on presidential immunity grounds. All of it comes as the remaining Republican candidates take aim at the front runner in the Hawkeye state. We can't be a country in disarray and have a world on fire and go through four more years of chaos. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, who has bet his campaign on a strong Iowa performance. Donald Trump is running on his issues. Nikki Haley is running on her donors issues. I'm the only one running on your issues. Meanwhile, President Biden on vacation in St. Croix with his eyes already on the general election. Was NBC's Garrett Hake reporting?